Hello guys, in this video, allow me to introduce this new framework called as LlamaRack. LlamaRack is primarily a two-stage framework using LLMs or large language models for ranking-based recommendation. In very very simple words, at a very high level, the whole idea behind this LlamaRack is that whenever large language models are doing some sort of autoregression or in other words predicting the future values on the based of past values they should recommend something on the basis of they have learned previously during the training and that recommendation should be realistic and not some hallucination that is where this llama rack tries to build a framework around this response now if you look at their detailed paper they have tried to explain it with this cool diagram now this two stage framework is using llms for ranking based recommendation so what happens behind the scene is that they are using small scale sequential recommenders to retrieve candidates based on the user interaction history for example if you have a database of movies and that is the example they have used in this paper or it could be for anything it could be for your shopping list it could be for your books or anything to which you are trying to get the recommendation or any maybe you know you are on airbnb or you want to go um, to some place and you want recommendations of restaurants and all that stuff so this llama rack uses small scale sequential recommender to retrieve candidate based on your user history and then with both history and retrieved items the llms creates or curates a carefully designed prompt template and then that prompt template is sent to your destination llm and that returns user results so this is the whole idea behind it and they also adopt a verbalizer based approach that transforms output logits into probability distribution over the candidates item so Therefore, LlamaRack can efficiently rack items without generating long text and achieve superior performance in both recommendation performance and efficiency. Because even with ChatGPT, if you ask for some recommendation, it will just give you a very long pronged result instead of just five or six recommendations. So that is where this LlamaRack or Llama Recommender tries to help out. Now, if you look at this diagram, from the left hand side, we are just giving it the instruction and prompt and then it is retrieving the candidates with the help of retriever so <clears throat> and as i said it's a two stage framework so retrieval is the first stage and in this stage it is possible to select arbitrary model for a retrieval state so wh what it means is you can use any model so for the purpose of this paper they have used lruer rec as their retrieval model which is a small scale sequential recommender that utilizes linear recurrent units to efficiently process input sequences. Also, this LRU rack is optimized via autoregressive training to capture user transition patterns and it generates predicted item features. And there are a lot of detail which I'm not going to go into the detail to keep it simple. So once the LRU rack is done, then what happens is that after the retrieval stage there comes the second stage which is the ranking stage in the ranking stage what happens is that a retriever has built an input template as you can see on your screen in the middle the prompt is done which has your question and with all the candidates and from there a verbalizer as i mentioned it verbalizes the output and then the ranker ranks it now for the ranker, for this paper, they have used 7 billion version of LAMA2 to perform ranking among the candidate items from the previous retrieval stage. And to construct the text input, they have prepended an instruction to describe the task, followed by both history and candidate items represented by their title, which is in, which is in the middle and self-explanatory. Now, also, the history, candidates and labels are replaced by history item titles, candidate item titles and the label item for each data example. And for inference, the label position is left empty for prediction. So now after uh, generating a long list, then uh, 
it just filters it out it ranks it and provides you a very very simple terse answer instead of long expensive computations so in a nutshell i could say that it utilizes small scale sequential recommended to retrieve candidates based on user interaction history plus it feeds both history and retrieve items to the llm using a carefully designed prompt template using a verbalizer based approach for ranking without generating long text so if you're looking for a use case you can do it today also there is a github repo which you can play around and this is the github repo now if you want to run it locally you would have to git clone this repo and then you need to have these prerequisites installed and then you can use any of your own model and then train it with this retriever by simple python script and this is how they have done it on the llama 2 but you would need a beefy gpu for it so it won't run out on your on your cpu or any simple you know 16 gb ram uh, gpu you would need a beefy system for it for sure but anyway that's it uh, let me know what do you think about it really good uh, work by all of these researchers zandri sarah gabriel and their colleagues awesome work i'll drop the link to this paper in video's description please read through it and let me know your thoughts and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching